fighting. I want no fighting between you two this morning. It's going to be great fishing weather. Don't make Pop Pop step in and break you two up. Captain Dylan Hubbard over at John's Pass with the Good Catch Fishing Report. What's going on? <laughs> good morning, Pop Pop. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's get to it. When do you catch it in shore? <laughs> Well, right now the water is cold. Water is cold, air is cold, and the fish are cold too. So really everything is dictated by those water temperatures. So you're looking for that wind-protected, sun-baked shoreline, and that's where the fish are hanging out, trying to stay a little bit warm. Just a degree or two of water temperature difference will make a total change in the ability for you to hook up and get those fish actively feeding. So often this time of year inshore, you can find the fish, see the fish, but they won't feed. And that's the issue is when that water's stagnant and cold, they're not really moving around a lot and they don't want to expel a lot of energy. So you can get around that using dead cut bait as an option. Live shrimp is key. The live shrimp bite is definitely picked up significantly. When that water's cold, those slow moving shrimp are really a go-to for a lot of our inshore species. We're seeing a lot of redfish in the Back Bay area right now. Redfish are one of those species kind of more cold tolerant and they still feed pretty well even in cooler temperatures so we're seeing a lot of those redfish mangrove shorelines residential dock lines oyster bars and even around the passes sometimes too the snook mostly in the back bay area those shallow edges those shallow flats trying to stay warm you can find them in those little deep pockets adjacent to the shallow areas especially later afternoon the bite is better sheep's head sheep's head are prolific around the area and very aggressive seeing a lot of sheep's head around our local structures and bonnet head sharks as well bonnet head sharks kind of spawn this time of year we're seeing a lot of them in the bay area along our beaches passes pretty much anywhere live shrimp on the bottom even dead shrimp on the bottom will give you an opportunity for those bonnet head sharks they're a lot of fun we're also seeing flounder too the flounder bite's been going pretty well inshore those sandy patches along the grass flats or sandy edges near Virtually any structure that's going to hold some bait will have some flounder around it trying to pick up those baits that venture too close to the bottom. But remember, fish are cold, they're moving slow, so you got to move your lure extra slow. Not as much movement, not as quick of a retrieve. Slow everything down to try to entice those fish to chew. And that's about it in short. You really know your stuff. I mean, I know you do, but when, when I hear you go that way, I'm like, wow, he's been doing this for a while. All right, let's do a near shore and <laughs> offshore. <laughs> Well, nearshore and offshore right now, definitely the big thing is those hogfish. The hogfish bite's going really well for us. Right about 40 to about 80 foot of water, we're seeing some nice hogfish around those smaller ledges, those rock piles, the shell bottom adjacent to the hard bottom areas. Live shrimp, light tackle is key. Right around 30 pound fluorocarbon, three, four out hook minimal like one ounce weight is a great option to knock a rig for them even throwing some beads in there we use like three to five of those small red beads in between that egg sinker and hook and that knock a rig makes some extra noise and brings some extra attention from those hogfish too we've been seeing some lane snapper around mixed in with those hogfish a little deeper the mangrove snapper bites going well and we're also seeing some nice red grouper out there deeper water we're deep in, we're dealing with that deep water closure right now so we're having to stay inside of that fence or closure area inside of 20 fathoms but we're doing really well on some big red grouper out there so great time to get out in the water just got to fight that weather unfortunately but we should get a nice little weather window we got that full moon coming up this wednesday so we're looking forward to next week nice nice you know dylan laura and i i talked to laura about this we were planning to come over this weekend and then we realized it's super bowl weekend and we have our annual Super Bowl party where we have to and we got to do the shopping for it today and tomorrow and then the big party so we're, we're Laura and I are both just too busy this weekend <laughs> don't involve Laura in your excuses <laughs> Russell but uh, don't, don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing you're just too darn busy <laughs> <laughs> I always drag her into it hey Dylan we love you tell everybody hello talk soon okay <laughs>